Welcome back to the Realm of Inspiration. I am Castalia Theo, the Elfian Realm Communicator, and in today's video we are talking about Leo season. It's officially the start of Leo season tomorrow, and the elves have some messages to help you during the entire Leo season. In Leo season there is a Lion's Gate, which is an energetic portal, a very impactful energetic portal. We've had a lot of energy portals recently with the Sirius Gateway in the beginning of July, with the summer solstice in June, so we're kind of keeping up these amazing energetic portals coming into the month of August and with Leo season. I don't know what elves are going to step forth, but I did have the head healer present herself to me and said that she wanted to start and end the channeling today. So without further ado, let's let her come through because I think we're all ready for the roar that the lion's energy is going to be bringing. So. The head Elfian healer, whenever you're ready to step forth, divine feminine energy, please do. Hello, I am the Head Healer, Divine Feminine Energy from the Healer Domain of the Elfian Realm. Now, I have quite a few messages for you, and so do quite a few Elfian friends. We have some Cosmic Elementals that are going to be stepping through as well. Mainly Healer Domain and Cosmic Elemental Domain will be stepping forth today, because the energy that the Lion's Gate is bringing is healing and upgrades with the Solar Plexus, with your Solar Chakra. Your solar chakra is your inner truth, your power, and your ability to express yourself in an authentic way that is true to your soul. With the solar upgrade, there is a connection to the golden Christed light. There is a connection to higher light frequencies coming and pouring through you. One higher light frequency is the light of the flower of inspiration. There's also the light of the tree of life, the light of the flame of truth, the light of the tree of knowledge, and many more eternal plantations and eternal flames that work for the highest good of the positive polarity, that their lights can help and guide you as you go about your life during lion season during Leo lion season. <laughs> we absolutely adore the Leo season because it brings in an ushering in of stepping into strength and the warrior frequency is more dominating during that time. It is obviously a fire sign as you know so the fire element in the earth elemental realm is high. Fire is also connected to the cosmic heat frequency which is a cosmic element which also bridges the connection between the Earthian realm and the Cosmic realm. And on that note, I'll transfer you over to the Cosmic Elder. Hello, I am the Divine Masculine Cosmic Elder of the Cosmic Elfian Elemental Domain of the Elfian realm. And I want to talk to you about the Cosmic Heat Frequency and how it'll influence you during this time. As you're all very aware, there's been a hit heat wave on Earth. Heat coming in, high radiate, high sun radiation levels, high UV index levels, high this, high that, high, 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 hot, 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 hot. The cosmic heat frequency is making its appearance in a way that is earthian. So through the temperature, through the UV index, through many different things, through the sun blinding. But as some of you also may have noticed, there is rainy weather, water weather. The water is coming to balance out the heat. So there is the energy of balancing. Now the cosmic heat frequency is going to manifest itself into the earthly pain through you all stepping into your inner fire and truth, through the flame of truth lighting the way. Now what is the flame of truth? The flame of truth is an, is an eternal flame, a cosmic eternal flame, that houses the phoenix realm. The phoenix realm is the realm of rebirth and resilience and starting anew. And that is the light, that flame of truth light can help and guide you during this time. So connect to it. Ask it to lead your way with the flame of truth and that energy that it is bringing, you want to make sure that you're paying attention to everything around you and you're always expressing yourself truthfully. And your throat, chakra, can get knocked off balance if you're not expressing yourself truthfully. If you're giving too much power away to another individual, if you need to say something, figure out a way to say it through the lens of love and compassion and light. You want to find a way to make sure that you're communicating truth. This is an attempt to lie or metaphor or dance around the truth. Be honest and truthful, and that can help you in understanding the freedom and the beautiful freedom of your souls. The freedom of your souls is the freedom to express yourselves truthfully, because you have the choice to not do so. So when you choose to, it is more liberating. 
Now for a cosmic elemental of the heat frequency. Hello, I'm a divine feminine cosmic elemental of the heat frequency of the Elfian realm, and I work with the cosmic heat frequency. The cosmic heat frequency is different from fire, and the portals to it are in volcanoes. Lava is how you can connect to it. The cosmic heat frequency wants to come and bring the energy of action while also helping you find peace in your inner truth. Truth, the fire of truth, there's a reason truth comes with the energy of fire. It makes its presence known. It warms the hearts of those around it. But if those are not living in the lens of truth, the flame of truth will cleanse and purge any negativity around anyone or anything. It also offers the ability to be reborn. If you live a life as a liar and all of a sudden you feel the call of the flame of truth and you become the most honest being on the face of the planet, the light of truth rebirthed you. And the light of truth is connected to the cosmic heat frequency. And that is the energy that the Lion's Gate and Leo season will bring. Powerful truth and powerful change. And now for an animal healer that works very closely with lions. Hello, I'm a divine masculine animal healer of the Elfian realm. I work with lions. I work with the lion split of the big cat group soul. And we've had a lot of different big cat energy this year with it being a water tiger. Now, fire lion. The lion is always fire in the zodiac way of being. And with that, I work with the group soul specifically. I don't work with the physical form. I work with the group soul. And I work with how the group soul splits into the physical forms. With the lions, the, the power of their soul is a little different than the tigers or the bobcats or the cheetahs, etc. They bring connection to the solar plexus. They have a connection to it. Their roar, if you do a lion's breath roar, you activate that fire within you. There's power behind their roar. There's power behind all their being and all that they do. So connect to them to step in, not just step in, but fully express your truth. They are very truthful souls. Their souls are very honest. They, they do cleanse negativity, but they also bring light. And they have a very joy bringer presence to them that's a little different than the tigers. Uh, the cheetah split of the big cat group soul are very joy bringery. Very joy bringery. The thing with the lions is you can tell by how the soul marks manifest onto the physical form what how what they do is different and that has to do with the stripes and the the spots and all of those little things how they manifest onto the physical form from the soul the lions are are almost a direct connection to the martian frequency and the solar frequency to this fiery, dominant leader energy in the most positive way, but a very divine masculine energy of creation. They're very creation heavy, and that's a little different than the rest of the splits. So this is going to be a very creation heavy time, but you want to find balance and make sure that you're creating from the higher activated level of your sacral chakra and not creating from the lower activated level of your sacral chakra. Because with creation from the lower activated level of your sacral chakra, that is the lower, that is the negative polarity version, meaning you'll be creating from a negative lens. And that is not going to be beneficial during that time. And that is during this time. It's not going to be beneficial during any time. It's never been beneficial to do that. So you want to make sure that you're not doing that and that you're creating from the higher level of your sacral chakra, from the true creation of truly beautiful things, positive things that benefit people. Remember, you are the children of the tree of life. You create life. Your words create life. Your actions create life. Everything creates life. What do you want to give life to? We are hopeful that all of you give life to power and strength and truth and positiveness and all of these lovely divine light things that make sure that you're living your soul's authentic truth. You are your soul, you're not your ego, so you want to live your authentic truth. We hope that that's the light that you bring in and the perfect time to start that if you've been waiting is during the lion season. And now back to the head healer. Hi, I'm the Head Healer, again, closing out this channeling. We hope that these messages were beneficial for all of you and that you can... Oh, wait, here the communicator coming back asking a question. Uh, one, her nose is itching. 
that happens every time after she channels an animal healer. And two, she's asking us a question. Uh, what about empathic abilities? Yes. Thank you, communicator. Can go back a little bit because I'll be talking for a little bit more about that. Okay. Empathic abilities during Leo season. Now, there are different forms of empathic abilities, but when you're an empath during Leo season, uh, you can activate your ability to a higher degree. And actually, if you call back all your energy and you're standing in your truth, you won't be feeling things as deeply and as sensitively as you were during cancer season. Cancer season, water, and also with the Sirius Star Gateway and all of those lovely things and the full moon energy that in Capricorn that brought in a different feeling of kind of absorption of things. Uh, now you're in the Leo season. So now there's fire. You can ask the Leo fire to purge anything negative that you may have absorbed. You can also ask a part of the group soul, a part of the lion group soul, to be present with you, to stand with you and remind you that you are a strong, powerful leader. And all of you are, all of you are leaders. None of you are followers. All of your souls are individual leaders in your own right. You're a leader in what you know best. And all of you know different things best. You all lead the things that you know together. It's an equal environment. And that's what we are hoping that you all will create soon, is that equality environment. You can ask the Leo to be with you, ask the lion to be with you. You can also ask the sunlight to support you. The sunlight, it gives, it gives protection and it also purges negativity. With that, the golden Christed light from the golden Christed sun, the light of Christ consciousness. You can ask that to fill you. This is an upgraded higher level solar frequency, a higher level light frequency that fills you and activates all of your chakras to a higher level. Also gives you support and protection and ascension. And it helps clear anything. It helps you also understand how to forgive because the energy of forgiveness is very important. And if you're looking for anyone who knows that better, any soul who knows that better what the light of Christ consciousness can do for you. Turn to the ascended master light of Jesus Christ because he knows. And yes, we are, we know the communicator watches this after and please communicator, do not take that out because it's very important that all of the people in the collective understand that that golden Christed light can fill all of you. That is the Christ consciousness that you want to become. That golden frequency, the higher level frequency of love and light and positive polarity -ness. It pulls you away from the gray area. It pulls you away from the third dimension. It ascends you to higher dimensions. Not only that, it can help you heal any cords of blockages. It can help you heal many, many different things. And I am, I'm the head healer. So of course I'm talking about healing. It can help you heal karmic balances. It can help you look at things from a different perspective. So connect to that light. Also with the empathic abilities, you want to make sure that your energy is protected during this time. Create a wall of fire, a wall of cosmic heat fire, a wall of golden Christed fire, a wall of the golden rainbow fire, a wall of all of these cosmic fires that the cosmic elemental realm knows best, but I'm delivering the message to you because it'll help you heal. Because when your energy is protected and gives you the environment to heal, you can come out stronger kind of like the Phoenix Rebirth, that the Flame of Truth light that is very dominant during this time uh, is make sure, and that is an empath, you know your own emotions and you identify your own emotions and you don't let other emotions control you. If you're feeling a negative emotion, know that it might not be yours. So identify what is causing this negative emotion. If you are angry and you don't know why, you're probably picking it up from somebody else. If you're depressed and you don't know why, you probably are picking it up from somebody else. If you can't pinpoint the origin of it, you could be picking it up from somebody else. And in that case, you need to protect your energy. And you can call on Archangel Michael to put his shield and his sword around you to protect you. Sword facing outwards. You don't want to point a sword inwards. And we give the, we've given these shields to our communicator so she knows them best and maybe she can explain a little bit about them after the channeling is over. We'll make sure she gets that message. You want to make sure that you are protecting your energy as well and the lion can help you do that. And that is all we have left to say.
Shields of protection, yeah, you want to call on cosmic elements and earth elements, so cosmic fire frequency, cosmic frequencies, um, all the cosmic lights, you'll want to call on the angelic frequency, also earth, air, fire, and water. You want to call on universal tranquility water, which is aquatic realm water, uh, different levels of solar fire, different levels of lunar fire, uh, lunar light, really, because it's not really fire. Uh, also, different cosmic elements, like a crystalline frequency. So you can ask uh, for a wall of selenite, you can ask for a wall of the uh, salt rock, you can ask for a wall of, of whatever, of tourmillion onyx, do they be around you and protect your energy? Those are different ones that they've given me in the past that really work. And you think like you're sitting there saying these things without physically seeing anything, how can it work? It's because it's for your aura and your soul and your energy. So like physically, you're not gonna like see the shields, but energetically, it's this energy around you. So the only people that are gonna come near you are people that don't don't get flagged as energetically being too negative. With Leo season, I'm really excited to see. I know they kept talking about the flame of truth. And speaking of the flame of truth, the warrior domain is with me we're doing a uh kind of they call it they wanted to call it the truth seeker event so i'll put the information in the description down below so you can check that out it is a sign up only exclusive event it's two and a half hours on the lion's gate in the evening and it's all about that they wanted to do a connective thing with the flame of truth the tree of knowledge inner strength inner power and the lion frequency and all of those beautiful things so they are doing that we do have an event for that on the lion's gate so if you're wanting to work one-on-one -on -one with the warrior frequency sign up for that uh hopefully we'll see you there and i will see you for sure in the next direct channeling all about the energy of august so stay tuned for that stay inspired beautiful souls